Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a long time, um, well at least uh, about two months since I've done an actual tutorial video. Um, so welcome back. I am back doing my tutorials. So um, I'm glad you guys uh, hung out and stuck with me through my big move here to Iowa. So welcome to Iowa with me. So let's get right into it. So as you can see, um, what I've been working on for those of you that have been following me, um, I have been working on the C to C crochet afghan. Um, now, um, since I have been setting myself up here in my craft room, I formed a crochet group as well. And I have been talking about this and been updating everyone in my group with this project. And I can't get the whole thing in, but I believe I counted um, 46 blocks that I ended up with here. And my colors that I do have that I've been working with are the lime green and it's Karen. So I've been working with lime green and I've been working with ocean and then the other color I don't have up here but anyway it's sage and then also the little um, stripe that you see through here is just a mix of all the colors. So that was just my leftover. So anyway this is the color scheme. And a lot of people didn't think the colors were going to work, but I thought they turned out really, really great. So I've been happy with it. Um, so I ended up with about 42 or 46 blocks. I think it was 46. Okay, so, um, but then whenever I got to the center, right before now that I'm going to show you how to decrease on an afghan, I put four blocks of the mixed uh, color right here instead of two, which you've seen me do throughout or what you're going to see that I did throughout. I put only two because I didn't want a whole lot of the mixed color throughout. So basically what I did is I put two rows in between the uh, solid colors. And see, this is the sage. This is what I was talking about. So that's your sage color. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up this row. Okay. Um, so I left off right here. So we're going to do our basic three chains. And I did already cut my yarn, but I pulled it back out, so I wanted you to see how we were going to finish this off. Okay, so there's two. And there's the third one. So you jump over, slip stitch, and then you'll chain up your three. And I'm only showing you it this way because... Um, I have the video on how to do the actual stitch, and for the most part, everyone knows by now how to do the actual stitch. And if you don't, you can go back to my tutorial on how to do the stitch itself. And I also have a dishcloth, uh, dish cloth, which is a smaller version uh, project, but I wanted to just start basically with the decreasing part on an afghan with you. I had a lot of requests for that. Okay, so basically, now what you're going to start doing at this point is you're going to start with your decreasing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just insert and we're going to change color here. Alright, so this is where I'm going to add my next color. And instead of pulling this regular color through, I'm just going to pull my lime green through. Okay, and what I'm just going to do here is I'm going to... I'm going to uh, tie this off that way I don't have any um, loose ends and of course everybody does theirs differently but I always double knot mine that way I have a lot of double security there and then I'm just going to trim that one up and I always come back and work my ends in later you can do whatever you see fit so I'm going to give myself some room because it's going to take it. I'm going to flip this all over this direction. Let me get it all out of a tizzy here. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to be working this direction. I'm going to back it up a bit. Alright. So now when you're going to start to decrease in your afghan, what you're going to do at this point is 
Um, and I've seen some people, you can chain one here if you feel more comfortable with that. That's fine. You're not going to chain three here. You're just going to go in the tops of these three double crochet. Let me zoom in a bit for you here. Okay. You see your three double crochet right here? You're just going to go in here in the top and slip stitch. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to go right into the, the space here, see where your chain three is, where you would normally go anyway. You're going to slip stitch there, and then you're going to start working your block. So you'll chain up three, and then you'll just continue as you normally would. So work your block. Okay, so one more. So still, that chain three is your first one, so then you want to work three. And then you'll go over to your next one and you'll go jump into that end and do your slip stitch. And then you'll work your chain three and then continue your next block. Okay. And that's pretty much all there is to blocking your afghan off and starting your decrease. Um, other than that, everything is the same until you get to the very end of this row and you're going to finish this row by blocking it off or decreasing in the very last block. Um, so it's really that simple. Uh, you're just going to do this all the way until you have one block remaining. So you know it's not a whole lot of uh, extra anything there you know so once you do that you know and you can work your ends in as you go um, I choose to kind of weave mine in as I go but anyway you're gonna see right here where your end is gonna start flattening out and I tied mine a little too tight there we go but um, anyway I'll work my ends in later but you see where you're gonna start having that flat edge right here well that's the way it's going to start building up and that's going to give you your flatness so it's just going to start doing that and it's going to start forming a block so I'm going to go all the way across this row and then I'm going to get to the end and I'm going to show you how to do the very end block okay and I'll be right back with you as soon as I get to the end okay guys I am at my last two blocks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this block here. So slip stitch, chain three, and then I'm just going to do my three doubles here. Okay, so now on our last one, all you're going to do is go in the end and you're going to slip stitch, okay? And then we're just going to take our material and we're going to flip it. And you can chain that one. And then all you're going to do is in those three double crochet there, you're just going to do your slip stitches. So you're going to have one, two, and three. And then you're going to go right into that gap of that chain three and you're going to do that slip stitch. Then you'll work those chain uh, three and that's going to be your first double crochet and then you're going to work your three double crochet into that gap. Okay, so that's two and that's three. Okay, then you'll move on and you'll do your slip stitch into that next block, that next gap of that next block. Do your chain three. And then just start working your blocks as normal. So basically all you're doing is making the changes at each end. Okay? So if I lay this down and you look at it, let's back up here a bit. You see where it's blocking off. 
on this end as well. So you're going to have squared edging. And it's just going to do that all the way across until it makes a complete square. And that's really all there is to um, decrease in your afghan and making it into a square. And you're going to do that continuously. You're going to do it on each end. So when you get all the way at the end of this row, you're just going to work your blocks as normal. When you get to the end, then you're just going to do as we've been doing. You're going to join at the end uh, block. And then you're going to turn. And then you're going to slip stitch into your three. And then you're going to slip stitch into that uh, end gap. And then you're just going to chain up three and then work your blocks as normal. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to decrease in your afghan. Um, there's nothing more, nothing less to that. Uh, you simply do that until you have one block remaining. And then you finish off and then you tuck in all your ends if um, that's how you've chosen to do those. And that's all there is, guys. Um, it's not, diff not a difficult project at all. So, um, you know, and when it comes to the number of blocks here before my decreasing right through here, this last row that I had, that determines um, however big your afghan is going to be. However many blocks that you had, like the one on um, the pattern on Red Heart, I think their blocks, they had like 90-some blocks. And that measured out to be like a 60-some by 60-some um, measured afghan. Um, you can determine however big afghan you want, whether you want a lapkin, whether you want a baby afghan, whether you want a uh, bad afghan. It's totally up to you. Um, so, you know, uh, just keep count of your blocks and um, just, uh, you know, just make sure that you um, always join here at the ends. Make sure that you are doing your slip stitch here at the ends to give yourself that corner because that's how you're going to square off. So um, just do those simple little steps and you'll have yourself a beautiful little C to C afghan. So um, that's pretty much all there is to it. If you have any further questions, you can um, leave questions below the box here down below the video. Uh, you can also contact me through Stitches Stacy's Crochet. And I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Um, and it's good to be back, guys. I've missed my videos a lot. And I will see you on the next video. Till then, happy hooking.